Welcome to Leaders Up Close and Personal. This program is part of UCF's Engineering Leadership and Innovation Institute. I'm Tim Kotner and I'm Director of the Institute. With us today is Chester Kennedy, Vice President from Lockheed Martin. Chester, thank you for joining us today. Hey, thanks for the opportunity to be here. It's always fun to be on campus. Great, thank you. So I've heard you talk about leadership and you've shared your view that leaders are pathfinders. What do you mean by that? So I think uh, one of the, the things that a leader owes an organization is to be able to find the way through, you know, to have the vision and, and to, to figure it out. Uh, as we've talked before, leaders don't know everything, right. but they have to figure it out. People are counting on us to figure it out. So when you figure it out or try figuring it out, in, in your experience, do you go do that by yourself? Is that with your team? Maybe a little bit of both? A little bit of both. I think it depends. You know, a leader has to have a vision and, and has to be able to figure out where they want to go, but every opinion matters, right? And so being able to sit down with your team and, and have your team have the confidence in you that, that you not only will listen to their ideas, but that you want their ideas, that you want their input. Mm -hmm. But then when you aggregate it all together, the leader still has the responsibility to figure out where are we going to go, to make the decisions, and to be willing to say, we're going to try this. Right. So sometimes you've, I'm sure you've made decisions that were maybe counter to some what some of the folks wanted you to make. Yes. And when you've run into those situations, how have you dealt with them? So, I mean, I, I think every situation is, is a, little bit, uh, a little bit different, and, and you just, at, uh, at some point, you have to trust your instincts, and, and uh, you, you know more than you think you know after you've been in various leadership situations. Mm -hmm. Every situation builds something in you that you don't even realize that you have, and when you learn to trust that instinct, then you, you uh, make, more of the better, make more better decisions. How about that? Right. So you've trusted your gut, your gut instinct. Imagine some of that came from failures as well, uh -huh. right? <laughs> Probably more of it from well, failures than from success, actually, yes. <laughs> so over time, some of those failures and successes, what has that created from a leadership style or personality? If you had to name one or two traits to it. Mm. So, you know, one of the, one of the things uh, uh, that's really important to me is, 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 is to always be humble, right? And, and uh, to recognize that I don't know it all, that there, are all, there will always, no matter what subject, there will always be somebody that's smarter than me in that particular subject. Right. And, and, uh, and, and to be willing to admit that. Um, you know, I think if, if a leader comes in and they act like they know it all, right. then, then it's, 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 it's the wrong environment. And when a leader comes in and says, hey, I'm impressionable. I want to learn. I want to hear what you think. And, right. and will value the opinion of, of uh, even a, you know, a junior person or uh, someone who uh, um, the tradition might say, well, that person's not going to bring you know, value to this equation. Everybody brings value to, the, right. to every situation. So if I'm a leader, is it okay for me in the middle of a meeting when someone shares their opinion or gives a technical decision or, or discussion to say, hey, well, wait a second, help me understand. I'm not sure I understand. Uh -huh. Can a leader do that? <laughs> I think those are the leaders that we look up to and that, and that we actually have the most respect for, those that are willing to say that, rather than just sit there and pretend that you know and understand everything that's going on in the conversation. Um, when somebody does that, you know that they really don't know everything, and you lose respect for them. But when somebody will say, hey, wait a minute, I don't think I really understood that. What did you really mean? Help me understand that. Put that in my language for me. Uh, those are the people, at least, that I look up to, and I think most people respect that humility, that willingness right. to admit that, that uh, we, none of us know it all. So in order to do that, though, I've got to maybe let go a little bit of my ego yeah. and be vulnerable to a group of folks. Is that fair? Sometimes that's hard to do, but yes. Wow. So have you seen leaders in your career that have done that? As you say, hey, there's a role model that... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and you and I have talked about one of my favorite leaders in, in, in the past, Norm mm -hmm. Augustine, and um, I know you've had a chance to have Norm here on campus before, and, yeah. and, and he was just really the epitome of that, and I had a chance to, for early in my career, to watch and to learn from, from uh, his approach to yes. that, always willing to make himself uh, kind of the, the victim of the joke, if you will, or the, the, the brunt of the joke, and, and, and to 
uh, just admit that he that he didn't know stuff. And yet, when you look at Norm, you say this is one of the smartest men in America. You know, he's uh, it's just you have that that uh, that respect for him, or at least I do. So it almost sounds, there's almost like a legacy that's created yeah. of leaders that this is what it's about. It's about leading, path forward, humility. I think so. That's impressive. Let me kind of switch directions on you sure. or something. And, and you've shared your, your personal views about life choices and, and growth moments. Mm. And there are going to be parts in everyone's life where it is this growth moment where you're going to grow as an individual. And you've had those in your life. And when you've had those situations, what carried you? What made you make that choice to go after the growth? You know, something, um, something in, in, in my gut, we talked about that a little bit um, today and, and we talked about it a little earlier in this conversation about your, your experiences, failures and successes build instincts and intuition in you. And uh, I think that, that that's really what, what has carried me through. It's knowing that something was right without always knowing why you know it's right. But you're, when your gut tells you that, that it's right, Trust, yeah. trust your gut. So trust, trust that instinct. So trust your gut. Trust your instinct. I've also heard you talk a little bit about having belief that there's something better, that something good is going to come out of this. Where does that come from? I think it comes from from um, you know my personality of always wanting to continue to grow, always wanting to learn, and and to experience something something different. Okay. Thank you. So Chester, thank you for sharing your thoughts and wisdom about a leader being a pathfinder, having humility, building the team, continuing to learn, and seizing those growth moments. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate hey, your time. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me to be here today. Thank you. And this has been Leaders Up Close and Personal.